red light here and the fairway ball slightly below his stance. Can you check this one from right to left? Don't overcook it left though. Swell lurks down there. Sensible move. And a nice shot from Grant Forrest. Got it pin high. It's amazing that from Ramsey. He's aiming well right. Dragged it across. Goes in. Now come on, follow suit. Oh, yes. It rubs off, doesn't it? It does. First birdie of the day for Grant Forrest. Up now to within four. But uh, Rory McElroy, we're hearing, is going to be at Wentworth as well. So an added bit of excitement. Yeah, that'd be a good week, that. Very good week. 181 to the pin here. Uh, this seventh hole. Breeze hasn't really got going yet. That's another good shot straight down the flag. Surrounded by big, tall trees, this green. Actually looks a little bit sort of inlandish a bit uh, at this seventh hole. I'm sure they've done all their homework. They know there's not very much movement in this. Just whistle it past Ramsey's ball, Marco. Oh, thank you very much. Back to back bird, is It's that easy. Two under through the first seven for Forrest. Moves to eight under now. Yeah, first drop shot of the day and 35, two birdies, one drop shot. Oh, you can't write that script, love that. No, Jordan, sorry, Grant Forrest feed back into the bunker, nearly stayed above ground. Ah, the joys of Lynx Golf, the dusty sand, oh, the deep bunkers. <laughs> Pop up for Forrest at the 10th. Up and down out of the bunker, nicely done. It's not always the birdie putts that keep things going, Lee, is it? It's the, uh, the save, yeah, saviours for par. That was huge, that, especially with the par five coming up next as well. Giving it everything you got. Launch <laughs> this, this one going with the breeze. Gently drifting round the corner. That is sitting pretty, just on the left edge of the fairway. Yeah. Happy days. It's, that is a big hit today, that, John. He's over the crosswalk. It's 15's my favourite hole. You've got to turn it right to left into that breeze. I think there's some really good holes in that back nine. You would think it would be the other way around. The, the front would be the easier. Incredible. I suppose it could just be wind direction as well. Yeah, that, absolutely. That is incredible, yeah. That's a big difference, isn't it? Huge. Perfect tee shot for Forrest. Just comes up a little short. Well, this is some pin over on the left-hand side on this green at 12. He had 80 yards in, got it ahead, slick one down the hill. Very well done there from Grant Forrest. That was very needed. That birdie just having a little bit of a rough time, Grant Forrest, but that moves him to eight under par now. Three off the lead, Paul wearing the clubhouse leader. Get nice and steep on this one. Nice lofty club out, give it everything you got. Well, he's been doing his strength training this morning, so I'll need that here. He could be at six iron off the tee tomorrow. That's two up the right with an iron. He clearly doesn't like it. And that's impressive. That's okay from where he was, gives him a chance straight up the hill. Anyway, to 13 and uh, Forest, this is a par part using the marker of Richie Ramsey to give him a little bit of a guide, which I think would have worked if he'd hit it. <coughs> so push tee shot yesterday made his part. Push tee shot today is going to cost Grant Forrest a shot. Both his playing partners find in the ferry with the irons as well. Uh, yep. 
trying to encourage it to come a little bit right, a little bit left, I should say. It's quite interesting. There's actually a lot of room on the left side of that fairway. Yeah, he's had a couple of bogeys in the last five, so just going through a little bit of a mini crisis, but down the fairway, just trying to drift this one in, looking right from, a little bit from left to right, hold the face on the ball a little bit longer. But doesn't want to overdo it, as you say. There you go. Wow, that came down with snow on it, Wally. Beautiful. Proper player, John. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful birdie. That was a touch of class. Yeah, I'm with you, John. I would have thought you'd just take over the corner. You've got to go over the dunes to carry the corner, but this has to be hit properly, I think, to keep it on the fairway. I'm with you. <coughs> he just whipped it over the lot with three wood. That's yeah, a big hit. As you do? Yeah. As you do. Come out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think you boys are <coughs> overcomplicating yeah. the whole well, It's just the 328 with the three wood. I don't know what the problem was. Do you, John? 25 euros going for us. That three is monstrous now. A little feely one. Pins in a nice, gnarly place. He's going the high route. You think right this pin will fall off to the right. That's all he could do from there. He's made mincemeat of this 15th, I must admit. Sorry, how far was it with a three wood? 325 yards to be precise. Right, Grant Forrest after that monster three wood off the tee has got this for his birdie at 15, John. Yeah, a little left edge here for his birdie. Don't shouldn't be much in this. Just didn't hit it. No, never really got it actually running at the hole, did he? <laughs> Speed through what? the ball is unbelievable. Yeah, he doesn't like that one. Just turned it over. He said too much. Might feed down a little. Can get out of there. Not quite. Out with the bump and run, did have putter and looked at the lie, second guessed himself and thought, well, I'm going to bump and run this in the bank. A little bit of break of left to right when it goes up there. Not much green to work with. Just shows you a bit more slope on that green than the TV suggests, because no one really seems to be able to get it close from both sides. There's no good place to miss it. There is par. Yeah, well done. <laughs> par five coming up next for Grant Forrest and Co. Bold and brave. Yes, but he hits his three wood three hundred. He hits his three wood three hundred and twenty-eight yards. John, I need to take I driver. I think how far this could go. He might even green this. <laughs> oh, the hoodie nearly got in the way. Sure, I saw some sparks. He's trying to run it up the hill like Eddie Pepperell yesterday. Now, can he muscle one up the hill here? I don't think he can get there. He's a long way from home. It's good, like 230, 240 out. He's a little bit longer than that as well. Oh, that one. Right, it's sitting up ish, I think, there, but uh, work to be done. Pins back right. I just wonder how greedy he's going to be. Is he going to play it high and fly it kind of just beyond the bunker? Not easy. Beautiful bit of height on that, and a bit of spin. Oh, you're right, a bit of skid to that one. That's pretty nice. Yeah, if it gets windy, I think you're right. Birdie putt here for Forrest to get to minus nine. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, that was lucky. That If we can see that again, if our producer can get that to see that again, that hit the marker and knocked it into the hole. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. Yeah, well spotted, Richard. <laughs> what a bonus that is. That's unbelievable. Don't think I've ever seen that. Yeah, very good. Thank you. 
There we are, that's fine. Safely down the fairway for Grant Forrest. At nine under, two behind, Paul Waring at minus 11, tucked in the clubhouse. Just aiming at the middle of the green, hopefully, for a nice strike. Uh, oh. That's some yeah, shot yeah. from 217 yards in those conditions. I mean, that would have looked That's unbelievable. Unbelievable, John, in the air, wouldn't it? That is. That looked unbelievable. He wouldn't like it because it was drifting left on him, but my goodness, that's fantastic. After that amazing four iron, got it to here. A little hint off the left will come off of that bunker, which is short and left. Can't make, can't make a three here, can he? Oh, not to beat. No, it was quite a big swing there, John. You're right off that, uh, off the back of that bunker. 66 yesterday. He's got that for 69. He rolls that one and he goes into Saturday and Sunday, nine under. Forrest just to tidy up on the last. Take it in at minus nine for a tournament. Lovely. What a two rounds for him. Good spot for Grant Forrest. Tied second years right now. Well, Grant, some horrible conditions there at the end. I bet <laughs> that reminded you of a few days you've had on the golf course growing up. Yeah, absolutely. We had the weather like this at Open Qualifying a couple of weeks ago. Um, and yeah, it's not what you want when you've got two holes left. And, you know, I ended up hitting two iron, four iron into the last, which would normally be like two iron and, you know, a nine or eight iron maybe. So. Uh, yeah, definitely made it a lot tougher at the end. In the end, happy with the 69? Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, I didn't, didn't quite play as well as yesterday. A um, couple of loose tee shots, but, you know, I dug in well. Um, made a couple of putts at the right time and, um, you know, just managed to keep the momentum going. What do you feel has been the spark for your performance this week so far? Um, you know, golf's such a fickle game you know I just I feel like I've sort of found something in my swing and um, it, yeah I've been I've been working hard and it's just trying to stay patient and wait for it to things to come good and you know hopefully this is a week um, yeah you know I've, I've been you know my whole, my whole game feels quite quite tidy at the moment so yeah good to see you playing yeah. well cheers so watch another DP World Tour video click here and to subscribe click here